Greetings. Today I have a very, very, to me, it is an exciting lesson. And I trust that it will be just the same for you because I dubbed this lesson the tambourine lesson. Mm, do you know what a tambourine is? Have you ever seen a tambourine before? Well, let me tell you, I love, I love, I love to play the tambourine. And so I got me a new tambourine because my tambourine lost the bottom, right? So I had to get me a new one. Yes, this is a tambourine. So my new tambourine, I got it yesterday. My new tambourine is in a box, right? A box. And on this box, I have numbers. Can you see those numbers there? Let me see if you're able to see all those numbers. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have to learn our numbers so we can actually read these numbers. So I said my tambourine is in, what is this? Do you see? This is a box. A box. Mm -hmm. And since we're doing reading, how about spelling the word box? Let's listen. Box. Let's, let us sound out the word b a x. What are those letters? What letter is representing each sound? B. What letter is it for b? Letter B. A. Letter O. X. That is letter X. So box. B O X. Box. This is a box. All right. Hmm. But in the word box, what sound do we hear at the beginning of the word box? What is the beginning sound? Or we call it the initial sound. What is it? B. All right. Listen up. I'm going to call the word again. Box. What is the medial sound? That is the sound in the middle. What middle sound do you hear? Listen to the word again. Box. Mm-hmm. I heard a, ah, and the sound a ah, represents a vowel, and that is letter O. Then the last sound, the ending sound is X, that is a consonant, X, box. All right, beautiful. Now, how many syllables are in the word box? I like us to um, tap it or clap it or snap it or count it out. Let's go. We could snap it. Box. How many time or times did we snap? Let's go. Box or box or box. Whatever way works for you. We did that only one time. So box is a one syllable word. If you're more advanced, you would know that the amount of vowel sounds you hear in the word will tell you how many vowels are in the word. So in box, we only heard a one vowel sound. So we have one vowel in the word. Now, let us, remember it's a tambourine lesson, so no matter what we're talking about, we need to get to the tambourine. Let us open the box. Ooh, we are opening the box. Mm, so we say open, open the box, open, and now I am closing the box so i can open or close the box open close so the opposite of open is close all right so i am going to whoo, what comes out of the box plastic what letter begins the word plastic what do we hear yes letter p all right let's go we're going for what is in the box so what is in the box we're taking it out so there goes another set of opposites in and out so earlier we had we had open and close now we're having take it out or put it in okie dokie so let's put the empty box empty the box was full now the box is empty. Empty box. Put that away carefully. All right. Now, look what I have done. We have just 
taken the tambourine out of the box. So, you know what we did? We unboxed the tambourine. Unboxed. So, we just placed an element onto the word box. We placed two letters before box. Get it? A new word. On box. On box. Now, the prefix on means not or to reverse or to remove. So, we have just removed the box. We have unboxed the tambourine. So, this is a tambourine. My tambourina. This is my tambourine. Yes, my tambourine. So, you know what? Let us talk about the tambourine. Yeah. Ooh, tambourine. Look at it. Look at it. This tambourine is a musical instrument. Oh, yes, it is. And guess what? It is a member of the percussion instrument, the percussion family. Those instruments that we eat. Yes, we eat them. Mm -hmm. Like the drum. Oh, yes. Just like the drum. And we have another one like the triangle. Yes, those ones that we we can hit. All right. So, you know what? This percussion instrument, this tambourine, it is made of this wooden hoop like this wooden section, this frame. The frame is wood. Some of the tambourines are in plastic, but I normally like the wooden ones. So you notice my older one was um, wood as well. Wood. This one is wood as well. And I said they can be made of um, plastic. The inside, the outside, another set of opposites, inside, outside. Okay, I have my hand on the tambourine and I can take my hand off the tambourine. So we're learning some words and learning to understand what they mean. So here goes my tambourine. So the tambourine has some small metal jingles on them. These small things that you hear when you shake or hit, they're called um, jingles or um, they're also called zills, right? And they are in pairs. A pair, two things, make a pair. Two things, two. Mm -hmm. Like a pair of socks, pair of eyes, mm -hmm. pair of ears, two, two. Pair of earring, mm -hmm. two. Two things make a pair. So let's go, let's get on with this. All right, so it's because it's two, we could probably count to see how many zills are there. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. There are 32 zeros on this. Ooh, nice sound that we're getting there. Yes, 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 yes. So, tambourine. So, remember, the lesson is about tambourine. And this is a reading lesson, actually. So, we want to be able to spell the word tambourine. But you know what? I want you to learn to spell the word tambourine because it's going to be a little tricky. You know why? Tambourine is not an English word. It has a French origin, right? It has a French origin. And the origin of the word actually means, the French word actually means drum. So if you look, the tambourine probably looks like a drum. Mm -hmm. It has the same um, um, characteristics except for this zil there on it so tam let's spell let's break it up into syllables let's break it up into syllables let's call the word let's go we're gonna snap it tamborine let's go tamborine tamborine let's sound it out tambor where my finger <laughs> tamborine how many do we see let's go tamborine let's clap tamborine how many syllables three Tambourine is a three-syllable word. So let's spell the syllables that we can actually, at least the first one is easier to spell. Let's sound it out. Tam. T-A-M-M. So let's spell tam. T-A-M. Tam. T 
ham. Now it's French, so that b sound, it's we have, we have to just learn it, right? So it's B O U. B O U. Say with me. B O U. Again. B O U. And because it's music, let's go. B O U. Again. B O U. One more time. B O U. Let's put all six letters together now and let's go. C A M B O U. Again. C A M B O U. One more time. C A M B O U. Now we're going two of the three syllables. Let's attack the last syllable. Again, reen. And this reen is spelled R I N E. R I N E. Say it with me. R I N E. R I N E. R I N E. Let's spell it again. R I N E. From the beginning, T A M B O U R I N E. T A M B O U R I N E. Tambourine. I tell you. Let's go. Let's let's get some music. Let's go. Let's put some music to that. Let's go. T A M B O U R I N E. T A M B O U R I N E. Tambourine. 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 Let's spell tambourine. T A M B O U R I N E. Tambourine. And let me tell you, this instrument is played all over the world. Yes. Long, 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 long time ago from ancient Greece and Rome. Oh, a long, long time. And guess what? And long, 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 long ago, musicians have been using the tambourine in their music, even like Mozart. Oh, yes. Do you know about Mozart? Maybe you could do a research about Mozart. But let's spell tambourine again. T A M B O U. R I N E tambourine. Would you like to get a tambourine like me? I love my tambourine. I play it in church. And you know what? Always I play my tambourine alone. I don't like to lend up my tambourine. But now that we are trying to stay away from the virus, COVID 19, nobody touches my tambourine. My tambourine. My tambourine. I use it to glorify God. This is my tambourine. Okay? Bless you. Get yourself a tambourine. Learn to spell the word tambourine. Okay? So, it was out of the box. Now, I'm going to put it in the box. The box is open. I am going to close the box. And now, my tambourine is safe. Nothing can get on my box. At least, not on my tambourine. Not so much dust or anything. My tambourine is now safe. I love my tambourine.